Zatkins plays Kirby, and he comes here. He's a, he's a local here. He lives very close, comes to Encore pretty much every week. Um, and he mains Kirby, and he actually scares me sometimes. Like, I have to play him in bracket. He he could, like, like you, you, you can't sleep on him. Like, even if, like, someone was like me who's, like, who's PR'd in the region, like, I can't sleep on this guy. Like, I, I tell him, like, so many times, if he just made a top tier, he would make our <laughs> PR. Like, he, he loves Kirby so much. Like, he... You, it's kind of hard to see, but he has a Kirby blanket. He has a Kirby plushie. Like, oh, he loves his character. I mean, honestly, that's the sort of I, I always love it when people do that. When they just, even if their character isn't that strong, even if maybe they uh, Kirby made since Smash sixty four. <laughs> oh yeah, but uh, I'm really looking forward to. Um, and are you familiar with Skyfist? I, I'm a little bit familiar with Skyfist. I believe he's, a, he's an average region player for sure. And uh, I was. Like I'm sure from Miles, I believe, and some other people that like he should be seated. So I believe Skyfist is seated to win this match. Like I I don't really know much about them otherwise, but I've just I've just heard like some good things from him from some people. All right, well I'm excited to see how I, I'm not even sure what character he plays, so it'll be a wonderful surprise for us as well uh, as. Uh, you want to take a guess on what character he plays? What's I want to take a guess? Uh, so let's see. His, his tag is Skyfist. So it needs to be a character that both exists in the sky <laughs> and has a fist. He's a fox man. I say Mario. You say Mario? Mario does have the forward aerial strike, aka the sky well, fist. Most of the times like tags don't mean anything. Like some like like a I, like some people are like like DK whatever and they don't mean DK at all. <laughs> That's <laughs> DK Dan started playing freaking uh, And then he went re like Smash Con, <laughs> like <laughs> Like, yeah, because, like, the, the commentators, like, they're like, yes, he's definitely a DK player. They go Ryu, he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby Kaze plays Sheik in Melee. I'm not familiar with Melee too much. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, so it's... Yeah, but, um, regardless... Uh, by the way, guys, thank you all so much for tuning in here. Oh, getting a little bit of a moment on stream. That was, uh, um, that was Pokalam, who is also... A very strong player here. Yeah, yeah. I'm really Definitely excited to see him on stream. Later. I know. Pokalam, of course, had fantastic online results throughout the entirety of He was a top eight seed for Smash Bros. Tour. Unfortunately, he didn't qualify, but also a, couple, a few weeks ago, he did win an Aeon, which, is a, long, Aeon? which is a Long Island Weekly, yes, a local offline. And it was like, you know, 70, 80 people, like, and he, he won. Actually, like, his whole crew got, like, top three, Grunk Gang. Wow. Like, it, it was a pretty cool moment. Man, Grunt's taken over. Okay. So we're oh wait, it was Zelda. I just from. I, I I swore I knew he played Zelda, but I just forgot. <laughs> All right. Now, what are your thoughts on this matchup as we're getting so, into it? So that kid actually gave me some coaching on how to play Zelda back when I was like losing to some Zeldas for a bit back before quarantine. So he he he, he taught me Zelda stuff. So, so he actually knows what he's doing. But I don't know what Kirby can much do against the Phantom. It seems like a very tough. Tough, like, tool to deal with. Yeah, at the very least, uh, I mean, so far he's been doing an okay job of getting off the ledge. And against Zelda, that's one of the scariest places. And Zelda is a character that doesn't necessarily have that many fantastic, ooh, get out of, like, you know, pressure options. So that kid is going to be using the Kirby neutral beat, kind of like the how Bowser's used like command grab. Like, if they're on a platform, if they're in a place they really want to shield, he'll try to get the command grab. I, I imagine Kirby with the. With the neutral B would be really strong. Uh, yeah, he has to respect the Phantom, and that ends up letting Skyfist just kind of get off of the ledge right there. Okay, another one of those back airs finding its mark, though. And Zelda, uh, so Zelda, of course, has that sort of thing, like, you know, her neutral B is a great combo breaker, but very punishable. So we yeah. might start seeing the point soon where those, like, 50-50 mix-ups are going to I will say, that was a good forward air from that kid, but I will say that the neutral B does throw people off because you're usually expecting a landing aerial, but the neutral B has a, a multi-hit, and it doesn't shield box. You have to hold shield the whole time through. Ooh, oh, that, that was great. That, even that kid like, looked at us like, the, the like, Skyfist just like short hop over that kid and read the spot dodge. It got the, the well-timed lightning kick. And that's especially impressive. That move has a very small sweet spot, and Kirby yes. is a very small hurt box. Yeah, Kirby is a small character. Like, the fact that he hit that shows that he knows what he's doing. Like He's, he's here to, to play and, and win. All right, but here comes a possible nice combo. Ooh. Oh, I think he messed up the, the lightning kick combo. 
I yeah. feel like the lightning kick is a lot of damage though. Up th That's why I said before. Oh, and he had one no jump. That was such a great sequence of that kick because he got him on the platform and he's gonna hold shield. And then you got the up smash on, on no jump. <laughs> Going way off stage right there. Oh, that's there's uh, Zelda up smashes are very. It's a, it's a tool that they like to use to ledge trap a lot from Zelda players. Ooh, that was a good roll. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh wait, just he crouches under the ground and got down to. All right. Now that kid's has the stage control here. Yeah, stage. Oh, and the, just dash attack. Like that was a call out. Wow. Oh, and the, <laughs> the, speaking and of the, call out. And the lightning kick from the respawn platform. <laughs> and I love it. You see, he's laughing it off. He's honestly just having fun right here. Like some people, you I know. Mean, you gotta know how to have fun when you're when you main Kirby in the oh, tournament. Yeah. Like. <laughs> That's for sure. But so far, I mean, that kid has always, he's taken the first two stocks. Uh, and now that we're entering the end game here, one stock apiece, if he's able to repeat that particular kind of success, this game should go to him. But as it I'm stands. Not I'm not sure what combos Kirby can do at this percent, but up oh, there's the, the inhale. Now Kirby can have a way to reflect the phantom. That was the Nera shield. Oh, no way. No, no way. He just jumps right over it! No, he just... He yeah. saw it coming a I'm mile like, away! I saw him charging the hammer against the phantom. I'm like, no, don't Ooh. do that! And then he <laughs> jumped! <laughs> that, that, that was right out of a movie scene. Like, just <laughs> jumping with the phantom, with the, holding the hammer, like, oh. That was like Matrix threading the needle right there. Yes. That was so cool. I I, I, don't th I think the hammer swings multiple times, so I think he was able to land with it. I think that the other swings might be weaker, though. And I'm not even sure if at that height he would have gotten multiple swings out of it. So just good timing on his part. Just a really good call out. Normally a lot of characters. That was awesome. Yeah, but against that phantom, they just they see it and they're like, okay, I guess I gotta just like sit and you, figure out how to deal with this you phantom. Need to like shield or dash or dash back and take your stage back or possibly jump over it. But uh, most of the time, like I'm scared to jump over phantom because Zelda means you have that up air raid to just cover your jump. But I guess Skyfist wasn't just. I, I wouldn't be ready, honestly, for a hammer coming at me. <laughs> I would definitely not be ready for that. All right. And now I think they're talking about stage bands here. What sort of stage would you be expecting to see for the... Uh, I mean, I feel like both these characters like the same stages. So it really just depends on preference. Like, I feel like Kirby doesn't like uh, platforms necessarily, but maybe the platforms could help with dealing with fandom. I mean, we've already seen he's able to use the platforms with his neutral base. Yes. Uh, so when you put an opponent on the platform, like people love to shield on platforms. So that's just a perfect opportunity. Especially Kirby, like has a very underrated command grab, as I would see the neutral BS. Yeah. So he can get those inhales and just like get that the ability, which is just so good. Like, oh yeah, and it's one of those things where people don't expect it because it's so slow. They're like, oh, it's not like a like a Bowser also, Koopa Claw. Yeah, Kirby's that comes not exactly fast in the air. Like, you know, he has multiple jumps, but he's not fast in the air. So people yeah. aren't just ready for like, the jump. Usually people. Are expected like an up air shark, but the uh, the neutral B is very smart. All right, we're getting a run back to, uh, to the same stage. I definitely agree with that. I mean, the game was very even until he got clobbered in the face with a hammer. So, I mean, yeah, but this is this is smash. You have to be prepared for anything. Oh yeah. All right. So now, as we're getting into the second game here, that kid's already taken about 26 percent. It just rolls into his face. Guy was standing at roll distance, but I guess it was a bluff. Like, that kid just rolled right into him and got off. Okay, but still that kid's 68%. He's taking quite a bit of damage here. Starting to do more of a, it seems like a bait and punish style. Just throwing out tiny moves. But, oh. So the F smash was kind of safe on shield. So waiting for that kid to back here and then got the lightning kick. That was really good by Skyfist. And we're seeing some good adaptations coming out from Skyfist. He's not really getting caught in the same combos as he was in game this one. Is, this is the start that Skyfist needs to uh, hold the lead and run away with it. But it depends how Skyfist wants to play with it, and Skyfist is playing pretty nice with it. Again, the lightning kicks, the combos to it, the, the dash attack. Yeah, I will say, Skyfish uses the Zelda lightning kicks. I mean, obviously, they're a really good move, and Zelda's utilize them. But the, the the amount of times, almost every I single like, stop. Yeah, so that kid's, like, that, that exchange, exchange uh, Skyfish is waiting for a roll, but that kid's neutral get up. But then Skyfish realized he's not going to pick the same option twice and wait for the roll and got it. That's good by Skyfish. Right, that kid's, oh. though, 
not letting himself get too oh, too bogged down about the deficit that he's facing here. The, the, the Zelda neutral beat, the invincibility comes out very quick, like frame like four or something. Like, yeah, I think I'm the intangibility sure. comes out like frame three or four. Yeah, it's very fast. Oh. That kid is still fighting though. Even if this game might be hard for Kirby to win, that kid is going to say, you have to earn this win. You have to earn this game. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You get the ledge re-grab, like... Yeah, it's Skyfish also, was just there with the feet. Spike. Yeah, so, uh, that kid's, I think he leaned over to tell us that he wanted to roll. But when you but grab the ledge, think, there's a certain amount of... I don't think you have enough time to roll. Yeah, that's the thing. Is that when you grab the ledge, like you're... like 20 if frames you don't or have something any, like that, yeah. like, where you have to wait before you could roll. And just recognizing but, that was there for the you punch. You know, that's kind of like a, state, a statement. You know, that kid came with the hammer game one, but Skyfish came with the spike game two. And it was a two stock as well. Oh, oh no. Omega Smashville. Wait, is this Omega? Is, are, you, are you sure about that? I, I wasn't looking. I, I, oh, yeah, I think they messed up. Oh, did they not want Omega Smashville? I think, I think that oh, kid's one for the song. Wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Smashville music. <laughs> <laughs> it's... It, uh, oh... You call me a hater. Doesn't belong in a fighting game. <laughs> so, except for KK, I actually 100% disagree with this counterpick. Zelda mains love this stage. Like most Zelda mains, they would counterpick you this stage if they're not running it back. Because the Phantom just covers so much of the stage. Like, oh, oh, oh no! Is he? he does he have enough jumps? No. <laughs> no. Wow, like, that kid's just losing his stock so quickly. Oh my God! The oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, all right. Doesn't get, doesn't eat the worst punish in the world. But still, after losing a stock in the first like five seconds, and he's already taken seventy five percent. Lap them, lap them percent. Oh, and the F smash could have done it again. Another stock. All right, but we are seeing oh. some solid reads here. So there, the, the phantom was misplaced in the wrong direction. So that kid took the advantage of of panic of a panic shield option. Yeah, and that oh. kid. Crap. That time gets the tech. So he's not going to be dropping another stock to something like that. But as it stands, he's already at 95%. Sometimes Zelda, I know it seems weird to say, but sometimes she can. I was wow. going to say she can struggle to kill, but um, uh, just getting the, those back airs and forward is I think so, Zelda so definitely struggles to get enough hits off of one of the neutral win. But Skyfist is showing me, like, look at, look at all these combos I get. Ooh, that's nasty. Yeah, directional air dodge. Good. He might have been a bit afraid of that kid killing him off the side. I mean, oh, here's a Kirby combo potentially. Yeah. Oh, oh I think that kid I mean, didn't account for the DI away. Yep. That was yeah, DI away and managing to just get out of it. I feel like an option that that kid can use at ledge that's very that's unconventional is using his double jumps to get back on, on stage. Like you can stall off stage for a bit. <gasps> oh, and just going for the spike. Oh, that kid. Everyone's going for oh. the spike. Oh my god. Okay. All stage gameplay. I mean, I love to see it happen. Oh, another one of the hammers. But that time, the Phantom comes out just quick enough to intercept well, him. That was a good dash back forward smash, punishing the aggressive jumping. Not really seeing a lot of two frame attempts, or even um, trying to maybe grab the ledge from him could possibly. Oh, oh that's why that, you don't want to do yeah, it. Yeah, that's though. why you don't want to mess with Zelda off stage. She can easily just like hold down her upbeat, and it will hit you away. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, for the dash tag. Oh. No, Skyfish missed the lightning kick. Oh my god. They're just. Uh, everyone's throwing out attacks. That was a great tomahawk by Skyfish. And up there. That kid's gonna air dodge to the platform. This is a smart choice. Alright. Not much. Yeah, that was a. I feel like that was a obvious neutral beat, but it's kind of hard to tell when you're in the last end of game three. Okay. Yeah, just let him. Let, let Zelda get back to the stage and just let's try. I don't know. Oh, he's looking oh. for it. He was looking for I it. Believe, I believe that kid's jumped out of shield, otherwise he would have gotten a parry, but that's going to be it. Skyfist is going to take a 2-1 over that kid. That was a pretty fun